Not Our King, Arrests of Protesters and Affront to Democracy. Following the passing of the Queen, a spate of arrests made of Republican demonstrators have been called an affront to democracy and an abuse of the legal system. The Metropolitan Police have reaffirmed that people certainly have the right to demonstrate against the royal family in response to mounting criticism of the police reaction to such demonstrations. It happened after an officer was captured on camera on Monday night telling a lawyer that writing not my king on a blank placard would put him in danger of being arrested. In response to rumors that anti-monarchy rallies were being targeted for exercising their right to freedom of speech, Paul Powellsland, a 36-year-old lawyer with Garden Court Chambers, claimed he came to central London with a blank sign. In a video of his encounter with the police that has since gone viral on social media, an officer can be seen asking Mr. Powellsland for his information as he is holding up a blank sign. The lawyer asserted that the officer warned him that if he scribbled anything on it that may upset people around the king, he ran the possibility of being arrested for violating public order. In response to the video, Met Deputy Assistant Commissioner Stuart Cundy said, We have been emphasizing to all officers involved in the exceptional policing operation now in place that the public definitely has a right to demonstrate and we will continue to do so. The incident was the most recent in a spate of police interventions against anti-monarchy demonstrators on occasions marking the passing of the Queen and the coronation of King Charles III. At least two people, including a man who heckled Prince Andrew and a woman who was detained after holding up an abolished the monarchy sign, have been detained and charged in Scotland for breaching the peace. Simon Hill, a peace pledge union activist was also detained on Sunday after yelling, who elected him? At King Charles' proclamation ceremony at Oxford. Later, the peace activist was released from custody. According to the police, Mr. Hill was detained on suspicion of engaging in behavior that could disturb, alarm, or distress others in violation of Section 5 of the Public Order Act of 1986. Among other occurrences, a guy waving an Atma King sign outside Parliament was escorted away by police. Civil rights organizations and left-leaning MPs have expressed concern over the activities and questioned the legitimacy of the arrests. The arrests of Republican demonstrators are immoral, anti-democratic, and a misuse of the legal system, according to former Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn. As a fundamental right, people should be able to voice their opinions. According to Labour MP Richard Bergen, he plans to bring up the subject in Parliament the following week. He stated that he was very worried by the news that people were being detained for expressing their support for a republic. In a democracy, everyone must always be able to voice their thoughts in a peaceful manner. As soon as the legislature reconvenes next week, I want to bring up this issue. If individuals are being detained just for waving protest banners, then it is an affront to democracy and extremely likely to be unlawful, Big Brother Watch director Silky Carlo said. Jody Beck, Liberty's policy and campaigns officer, stated, Protest is not a state gift, it is a fundamental right. An essential component of a strong and effective democracy is the freedom to choose what, how, and when we protest. However, the anti-monarchy protests have long been targeted, according to police oversight organization Netpal. Emily Apple, the group's communication coordinator, cited instances in the past in which police had conducted spurious arrests on royal occasions, such as the 2002 Golden Jubilee pub arrest of 41 patrons. The police behave excessively whenever there is a royal event to make sure that opposing voices are not heard on our streets, she continued. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel.